This is example 6.5, which reads, A seated leg extension machine features a special cam that is actually two cams welded together. The first is a circular cam with a radius of 5 centimeters, and the second is a nautilus cam with a variable radius. The figures below show leg force F working against a constant resistance of 200 newtons as the cam is rotated between positions 1 and 2. A. What is the moment of the 200 newton force about axis A in each position? And B. What is the moment arm of F about axis A in each position? So for part A, we have two positions. We're going to draw a full body diagram for position 1 to start. What we have is an angle of rotation and a force of 200 newtons. We're given this distance which is 10 centimeters. We know 10 centimeters is equal to 0.1 meters. The question calls for us to find the moment of this 200 newton force about this axis in this first position. The first position, the radius is 10 centimeters, which is 0.1 meters, so we're going to use the simple equation of m equals f times d. The force we know is 200 newtons and the distance we know is 0.1 meters. We're going to multiply this out and get 20 newton meters, which is the moment about this angle of rotation with this distance. The position 2, we're going to draw another full body diagram. We have an angle of rotation at a different distance of 18 centimeters, which we know is 0 0.18 meters and a force that is equal to the same constant 200 newtons. We're going to use the same equation. Moment is equal to force times distance. The force we know is 200 newtons and the distance we know is 0.18 meters. When we multiply this out, we get 36 newton meters as our moment about axis A in the second position. So pay attention to the two different distances, which are the two separate components of this part of the problem. The forces are the same, but the distances are different because the position changes that radius. Next, we're going to do part B, which reads, what is the moment arm of force about axis A in each position? This is different because we're paying attention to only the moment arm. So each position for part B, if you notice, has the same force and the same distance because the moment arm about axis A in each of the positions is the same. So in each position what we're going to focus on is this cam with this force. Now we're going to blow this up into a full body diagram. We have this cam, with this axis of rotation, and this force F. In each position what we're asking about is this distance. And in both positions, this radius about this second cam is the same. And we know that it's 0 0.05 meters, because it's 5 centimeters, which is the radius. So the moment arm is going to be, is going to be equal to this radius, which is going to be 0 0.05 meters. This is because each position has the same force and the same distance that we're taking into account. Even though the position of the two cams is rotated, the radius of the second circular cam is the same in both situations. And that's example 6.5.